are um, determinants. What is the determinant? Uh, what is the determinant of a matrix A? You know it's there. Come on, come on, guys. Give me a hand. I forgot it. I no, 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 no. Uh, I mean, uh, you describe the way uh, how you can compute the determinant for a two times two matrix. Mm, almost, yes, but this is not what a determinant means. What is the meaning of a determinant? Really? It's okay. been years. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> it's been years since we learned that. Yeah, perfect. This is the reason why I'm here today. Okay, um, it's quite, I mean, it's a very complicated uh, definition. Um, um, I, I will skip this definition. Let's just say the determinant, when you consider the column and the row vector, then you get a very interesting area spanned by column and row vectors, and uh, the determinant is exactly uh, the measure of this area. So when you consider here the 1 and the 5, and 2 and 3, then you spell a certain area, and this is the determinant. Or you can transpose it, so this also means the determinant of a matrix and its transposable version is the same. Um, you can also say, I consider the uh, row vectors 1, 2, or 5, 3. It maybe looks a bit different, but believe me, it is the same area and therefore same value of the determinant. Just the area that is spanned by all the row, or the volume, or the eyebrow of volume, and so on, uh, that is spanned by all of the column and row vectors. Okay? Okay. Um, yeah, and for such a nice matrix A, how, how do I compute the determinant? Yes. Main diagonal and this is the other diagonal. Exactly. So for a two times two matrix, you can, I mean, yeah, pretty clear. A times uh, D, the main diagonal, and you subtract the the, uh, the, the the other diagonal, the D times C. This is pretty easy. And by the way, the determinant is another scale of the different time over a certain matrix. And you have a matrix, a method on a scalar value. The value has a certain meaning. If the area or the volume of the row and column vector spanned by uh, and also, so, 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 so row and column vector. Exactly. Okay. It's a bit more complicated when we uh, want to calculate the determinant for a three times three matrix, because now we have to consider um, all the minor determinants, so the sub-determinants. Um, that could be generated when you consider, for instance, a first value. You have to uh, remove this row and this column here. And this means for this first value, A times the determinant of this um, submatrix here gives you the first contribution or the contribution of the first value, A. For the B, you have to remove this uh, column and this uh, row. Consider the sub matrix or the determinant of the sub matrix, so C, B, F, R, I. And this means for the second value, yeah, I mean that is quite simpler rule, we'll um, talk about it uh, in one slide, but just the just, yeah, general case. Uh, for the B, and then you have to um, um, get, get the contribution B times the determinant of the C, H, F, I matrix for the E and so on and so forth. I mean, it's a simple algorithm. I hope you, you, you got the idea. You just consider each uh, item in, in this matrix, uh, remove columns and rows, and you get um, um, a sub-matrix, and you have to consider the determinant of this sub-matrix. If you are in a bad uh, luck and you have a 4 times 4 matrix, then the sub-matrix is a 3 times 3 matrix, and you see it's a recursive uh, algorithm that you have to apply uh, in order to get the determinant at the end of the day, at a certain point. Okay? You got the idea here? And this is something what is um, known as the Laplace formula in German, Laplace Entwicklung says. You, you had it in, in school. So, I mean, this is a this is a way how you can compute the determinant of our uh, general matrix, so n times n. 
We talked about the two times two burden. We have seen the three times three burden is a bit complicated, or maybe not. So for the three times three burden, there's also a very uh, simple trick. Uh, and that's it for four times four, five times, and so on. You really have to use the Laplace's formula, unfortunately, or just use meta. Uh, okay, for three times three, it's a very simple uh, rule. It calls the rule of Laus. It's not worth the ring. <laughs> But our um, <laughs> name. And the idea here is just to say, okay, we have here the our first um, uh, two columns that we put over there. A1, A1, two, uh, A21, A31, A12, and so on. So just uh, copy the first two columns over there. And then you can do the same trick as we already did with the two times two building. You can just say, okay, the determinant is given by. On the diagonal A11, A22, A23, sorry, A11 times A22 times A33 plus <coughs> next diagonal plus next diagonal and so on, minus um, this diagonal, minus this diagonal, and minus this diagonal. And that's it. And then um, you are able to calculate the determinant. And this is the reason why in exams, usually only two times two, two or three times three uh, matrices uh, occur. Because the professors are able with this rule and the rule that we have seen before to, to uh, check your, your results uh, for four times four and so on. It's a bit more complicated. This is a, uh, the reason why you never will see um, larger uh, than two times, uh, three times three matrix in your, in your exams. <coughs> 